Get ready to match the stars. Jack Cassidy. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. June Lockhart. Richard Dawson. And Loretta Swits. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 73. And now here's the host of Match Game 73. Thank you, John. All right. Everybody ready? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Greta, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thank Good. You. May I ask Do a question? All you... Yes. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. Does that suit have stripes or is it just plain navy blue? It no, it says stripes, sir. It's called a pinstripe. Terrific. Yeah. Stunning. Would Oy you ask uh, Loretta how things are going on M.A.S.H., that marvelous show which we all love and, oh, and how enjoy? How are things so. going on M.A.S.H., Loretta? Wonderfully. <laughs> Have you been picked up? <laughs> I mean, you should. I didn't die like that. <laughs> yes, that, that marvelous show will go on forever, won't it? Thank you. Well, I we hope all so. hope so. Okay, all let's all our toe players, Sharon Buller and Alan Stoneman. Hello there. Hi. Last time, if you were with us, this game ended in a tie. And there it is, right there. <laughs> And we're going to erase that tie. And we're going to go to a tiebreaker. But first, we're going to go to this. <laughs> All right, here we go to the tiebreaker, folks. These two people played to a tie. We've got one question for each of you. The one who has scored the most will be the winner. Sharon, the challenger, please make a selection. B. Everybody plays in the tiebreaker. What do you feel? It took six men to get Tom's pet blank. Oh, wait a minute. It took six men to get Tom's pet blank into the veterinarian's office. <laughs> Are you having... <laughs> well... Just think about that. Not too long, but think about men. it. It took six men to get Tom's pet blank into the veterinarian's office. No help from the audience. We love your intentions, but your answers may be lousy. Never know. Already, Brett? Yes, darling, I know spelling doesn't count, so I'm right. doing it phonetically, which takes time. Okay. All right, spelling doesn't count. Sharon, it took six men to get Tom's pet blank into the veterinarian's office. His pet? Horse. She says horse. Because well, I guess it was a big, stubborn animal. What do you say, Jack? I say horse feathers. Horse feathers. No, no, I actually, I said ape gorilla, which are really of the same family. That's right. Hairy <laughs> devils that they are. <laughs> okay. Brett, what do you say? I said, uh, now it may be a little tricky, but you, I, I said rhinoceros. Now, if you spell it phonetically, it's fine. Rhinoceros. Could have put zero on You got a buzzer right in the middle of your rhinoceros. Charles? I said boa constrictor. Boa constrictor. Thank you. No fails. horse yet. I am June? Still... Well, uh, since it took six fellows, I picked one of the biggest animals that is not already extinct. And I said elephant. Okay. Yeah. Oh, horse, yeah. Richard, do we get a horse from you? <clears throat> no, no, I gave a horse to you last Christmas. Oh, right. <laughs> this year I'm giving you an elephant. Oh, another elephant. See you at the door. That's okay. The game, Loretta. Well, obviously the bottom tier knew what they were doing. Yes. Elephant. Elephant seems to be the answer, Sharon. The they picked tier. a big animal. Now, Alan, one is all you need to win the game. Here we go. It was so hot in Bill's apartment. Uh-oh. <laughs> June, what do you know about Bill? It was so hot in Bill's apartment. Everybody would think it was terrible. Hold it. <laughs> so hot in Bill's apartment that he went to sleep with his blank in the refrigerator. <laughs> it was so hot in Bill's apartment that he went to sleep with his blank in the refrigerator. Are you thinking, Alan? I okay. think. Okay, he's thinking. <laughs> You're all feathers. What yeah. kind of feathers are those? Uh, those are, what kind of feathers are those? Horse feathers. <laughs> Horse feathers. <laughs> Horse feathers. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? All right, let's call on Alan Stoneman. It was so hot in Bill's apartment that he went to sleep with his blank in the refrigerator. It's got to be one end or the other, so I'll say head. Okay. He said it's got to be one end or the other, so he said head. What do you say, oh, Jack? Well, I've awakened that way in the morning. No, no, I have 
the old hot feet. Hot feet. Hot feet. Oh, shut up, gang. I'm bored with you. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, all you need is one to win the game. And here we go. Brett, one now, head listen, wins the game. Now, listen, how about torso? Does that include... Uh, what is no, that? No, it's not a man. Whatever it is. <laughs> Charles? It's your bod. Yeah, but... Uh, American yeah. soldier want to buy my answer, win big prize. Hey! <laughs> wins the game! Okay, you stand by here for a moment or so. Stand right there on the tape. <laughs> and we've got to say goodbye to Sharon Bowler. We're delighted to have met you. Good luck with your maternal event in February. Thank you. And uh, we've got a gift for you backstage. Sharon Bowler, Matt Here it is, one, our jerky super match thing that <laughs> comes around there. I guess the motor isn't working all uh, right today. We're short of voltage or something there. Now, you know how this goes. You've been here before. Yes, sir. You know, uh, Alan, that we polled a recent studio audience, and uh, we got their best response to this. Blank neck. And uh, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you, if you can match it. Second most frequent response, $250. Third, $100. You know you can win over $5,000 here. You're allowed a little help from our celebrities. Three to be exact. Pick them one at a time. Jack. Oh, God. Jack Cassidy, <laughs> fill in that blank. Blank neck. Mm. Well, let's... You don't have to write. These are verbal. Oh, are they? Yeah, this is the only place where you don't have to write. Well, I'm failing you this time. The only thing I think of is Great Neck. Which Great is... Neck. <laughs> Long it's Island. a place in Long Island, well, a I'm... suburb of New York. All right, another one? Uh, Loretta. A turtleneck. Turtleneck. Oh, yeah, yeah, Turtleneck is hers. Richard. But I am a pain in the neck. Pain in the neck? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. All right, so you've got... Well, I raised it for television. Turtleneck, uh, pain in the neck, and great neck. Now, you may choose one of those. <laughs> or give us one of your own. What do you want to do, Alan? Uh, no offense, Jack, but I'll go with turtle. Turtleneck is the answer he wants, Absolutely. the one we're looking for, the one that Loretta gave. So let's find out if indeed it is up there. First, may we see the $100 response? Redneck. Oh. That studio audience said that. You didn't think about that, no, eh? I didn't. I didn't think about it either, but it's uh, not a bad answer. All right, we're looking for Turtleneck. Here's the $250 response. Stiff neck is another good answer that none of us... Did you have that? Yeah. All right. Third and last chance, Alan, for turtleneck. Here is the $500 response. Turtle. Turtle. Well done. Congratulations. Okay. Now, you got the 500. That puts you up to 1,005. Why do you keep going over there when I tell you to stand on the tape? Alan, how many times do I have to tell you to stand on the tape? Okay, and look at me. Cheap theatrical Okay. Yeah. Now listen, you got $1,550 at this moment. You got a chance at 5,000 now because you're playing for 10 times 500. But to win the 5,000, you must match one celebrity on a head-to-head -head basis. It has to be an exact match. So choose one now if you please. Trust me, Alan. Well, I'm going to take June because she kept me in the game. Okay, June. June. All right. Which June. With June. You All get right. ready to write, and Alan will face me, and I'll take the $5,000 question out of the slot and ask June to write her response to this. Rice blank. Rice blank. June is ready. So, Alan, how do you fill in that blank? Rice... Patty. Rice patty, he says. All right, June, for $5,000, may we see your answer? Well, we must have been uh, watching the same newsreels, right? Oh! You know, 
I think the audience is trying to get on your good side. Because when you said rice patty, they groaned. You didn't like that answer, did you? And you were wrong, weren't you? Now admit it, you were wrong. Okay, anyway, I thought you were wrong, too. <laughs> But you've got the $5,000, and that puts you up to $6,550. He wants her autograph on the rice patty answer. Okay, Alan, you're going to meet another challenger, and uh, we'll find out who that is after we find out about this message. Here we go. Going to meet a new player, start a new game. Let's say hello to Peggy Caseberg. Hi, Peggy. You know, Ellen? Let's find out a little bit about Peggy. Would you like to do that? Peggy, tell us about yourself. Well, I live in the San Fernando Valley, and I'm married to a fantastic man. And next month, we're going to Guam for two years. Really? Why are you going to Guam? He's in the military. Oh. What's fantastic about your man? He's my husband. <laughs> He's your husband? He's my husband. Okay, He's I greatest, buy that. Greatest I'm... guy in the world. Glad you're very happy with him. You know oh, how to play this game? Are you ready, Peggy? Right. All right. I will push the button here and reveal two questions. You are the challenger. You make a selection, if you please. A B. All right. Good luck to both of our players. Here we go, folks. The Godfather said, At our Halloween parties, we don't bob for apples. We bob for blank. <laughs> Got that? Yeah. Godfather is speaking to you. I'm so tired, you're all so slow. You're so old. <laughs> cool. Isn't that wonderful? I suddenly got quick. <laughs> Anything is better than you were. <laughs> Don't think too hard, Charles. Back. I will stay. Don't bob for apples. The Godfather said, ah, at our, you know who the Godfather yeah, is. At yes, our I Halloween do. parties, we don't bob for apples. We bob for... All right. Oh, that's terrible. Well, change it if you think it's terrible. How much time have we got? Well, did, uh, we, we've only, it's a half-hour show. We'd All appreciate right, it a little. Oh, mm. the hell. Going to lose it? Okay, there it is. That's it. That's her answer, and she's going to stick with it. Peggy, the Godfather said at our Halloween parties, we don't bob for apples, we bob for... Bodies. Yeah. Bodies? <laughs> that kind of surprises me. Does it surprise you, Jack? Literally throws me for a loop, Gene. Throws you for a loop. She certainly looks like a sweet girl. Yeah. I'll tell you what we do in our house, sweetheart. Was that Humphrey Bogart? No. <laughs> it was Myrna Loy. <laughs> Get off my back, Charlie. <laughs> Getting back to the game, darling. I go along with you with buddies. Bodies. I must say. Brett, what do you say? Well, I've been to those parties and I fell into the pail a couple of times, and they always bob for the body. That's true. Okay, I'll get it over quick. I got bodies too. But no, I would like I'll to. Be done. Wait a second. I would like to make an announcement. Charles has an announcement. I don't announcement. know if the camera can get close enough, but if you can see, this is true. There's a feather, oh. one of her feathers on the end of my pen. Awesome. Can you That's see right. that? Yeah. This chick is trying to feather my pen. <laughs> 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 okay. Moving right on. Uh, yes, June, what do you say? Well, the bodies that they're bobbing for all wear cement shoes. <laughs> cement shoes. No match there. Let's see if we get a match from Richard. What do you say, Richard? This must be later in the season I thought it should, <laughs> if she's beginning to molt. Uh, I said they bob for meatballs. For meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't wow. it better than what pasta fazoo there. there. What do you say, oh, Loretta? Yes. Well, I said that they bob for bullets. Bob for bullets. <laughs> okay, you did very well with that. Three for you. So far, none for you, but you've got to get a question. We'll give you that right after we give you this message. All right, we've finished one half of round one. Peggy has scored three matches, and now we'll go to the other half, see how Alan does with his question. Everybody plays. Well, the luck, Alan. The explorers were amazed to find a little penguin blanking a giant whale. The explorers were amazed to find a little penguin blanking a giant whale. Are you thinking? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. <coughs> Everything seems to be working okay over here. Are you working, Charles? Yep, I'm finished. Alan, we call on you. The explorers were amazed to find a little penguin blanking a giant whale. I'm going to say riding. Riding. You like that answer? The audience thinks he's got a winner there. Let's see if he's got a winner, Jack. I'm really tired of Alan and the audience. <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Alan, it's such an obvious answer. Why you chose it is beyond me, Alan. <laughs> Riding is his, so there gives you, I give you one next. Hi, Brett. All right, Brett, what? May we see oh, your answer? Yes. All right, uh, Brett. Uh, mothering. Mothering. Oh. Oh. With a dinner jacket on? <laughs> Would you die? Yeah. All right, Charles. I sort of combine the best of riding and mothering, what? because it's the holiday week, to come up with loving. <laughs> loving. A penguin and a whale were in love. Oh, June, what do you say? They were in saying? love? I didn't know that. Well, that's what he said. Oh, so. I see. No, this little penguin was riding that big sure, whale. Sure, there's another match for you, Ellen. <laughs> Uh, he's up to two. Let's see if we well, tie the score. Actually, the whale tried to ride the penguin, and that flattens him so quickly. So they were fighting. Uh -huh. Fighting. Okay. But first, a few impressions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Loretta. And he was riding the whale. Oh. Uh -huh. The first answer would have a turn. Well, that's a tie score, folks. And now let's see what happens here in round two. Okay, Peggy. Austin could be. She wants B. Last time out, you match the upper tier, and now you will lay out, and only you will play. Okay. The upper tier. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Still doing Bella Lugosi. The upper tier four shows ago. She's matched all of them. It's ju just okay. the three of you. Where the logic prevails. When here. Ellen reported that Tom Thumb was missing, the detective said, "Have you looked in your blank?" <laughs> Because I have a good answer for that. I'll we'll come up later and thank God. Could the top Collect row combine their ideas and no. give an answer? When Alan reported that Tom Thumb was missing, the detective said, Have you looked in your. Think of an answer, Peggy, and uh, be ready when you are called up. Are you ready? Yes. All right, Peggy. The detective said, Have you looked in your. Your purse. In your purse. Okay. The detective asked Alan, have you looked in your purse? What say you to that, June Lockhart? Well, since Tom was so teeny weeny, and she had a teeny weeny purse. There's a match. Okay, that's one for you, Peggy. You match June. Now let's see if you match Richard. Well, I just said another word. I said pocketbook. Same that's thing. another match. Okay. Loretta! Well, she didn't have a purse with her at the time. She was in her dressing room, and he said, have you looked in your drawer? Have you looked in your drawer? drawer. Okay. Oh. You say drawer? You scared me there for drawers. a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, okay. Nothing wrong oh. with that. <laughs> Obviously, you dropped the Peggy, you're, you're, you're up to five oh. now. Now, Alan, I point out to you, you must match two to stay in the game. Oh, Three, however, will win the game. Last time out, you matched June, Loretta, and Jack, and the three of you will not play. The others will. Who are the others? You are one. Oh, okay. The Charles is here. another, and hey, Richard is the other. Oh. At the department store, little Lulu went crying to her mother, Santa Claus blanked me. <laughs> At the department store, little Lulu went crying to her mother, Santa Claus blanked me. You know, I knew my girls were too old for Santa Claus when they complained about his bad breath to me one year. <laughs> yep. That gave you the clue? Yes, I thought, it's all over. Aww. Santa has bad breath. Charles, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, now we will call on Alan for his response. At the department store, little Lulu went crying to her mother, Santa Claus blanked me. Pinched. Pinched. He thought hard. And he came up with the answer, pinched. Brett, he needs two to tie, three to win. Go. There used to be an old man who used to come to our house, and my mother used to say, don't sit on the captain's lap, dear, he'll pinch you. And she was dead right. But I didn't say that. I said struck. Struck. Okay. Oh, I'm so tired of now, that Now, Alan, you must match Charles 
and Richard to stay in the game. Charles, I'm pinch. I'm sorry, I said whacked, hit, smacked, or belted. Whack, hit, smack, or belt it. So that's got a match, and Peggy is the winner. Congratulations. Okay, Peggy. Good luck to you now here. We've got to say goodbye to Alan, but he's not going to leave here empty-handed. This is a terrific day to win a lot of money, isn't it? On it certainly is. Christmas Eve and all that. Merry Christmas to you. It'll Thank be a merry one. $6,550 for Alan Stoneman. No, you're not going home. You're going to stand right there and pull yourself together. We'll give you a chance to catch your breath. Take a deep breath. That's enough. Uh, we'll get to her super match in which she can win over $5,000 right after we get to this. Listen, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And if you can, join us tomorrow. We'll have a few more laughs here on Match Game 73. Gene Rayburn, bye. Merry Christmas. Today's consolation prizes are Charm Go Wet, the completely portable gas grill that goes anywhere. Instant flame without starter fluids or charcoal. Charm Go products of antioculinol. And glamorous eternal lash eyelashes. You put them on once easily, they stay on alluringly. Work, shower, sleep, and stay beautiful. Eternal lash. And an assortment of party time cocktail mixes. The mixes that have both quality and variety now make a perfect drink every time. And Tootsie Pop Drops, five flavors of delicious hard candy with chewy Tootsie Roll centers. They fill the hole with Tootsie Roll. This is Johnny Olson wishing you a very Merry Christmas, speaking for Match Game 73. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Get ready to match the stars. Jack Cassidy. <laughs> Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. June Lockhart. Richard Dawson. And Loretta Switch. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 73. And now here's the host of Match Game 73, Gene Rayburn. Hi, John. All right, Peggy. Hello there. May I say Merry Christmas, especially to you, Charles, wherever you are. Charles, come up out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Sand is back. <laughs> and we hope, Gene, that you had a wonderful... Now, this acting you don't see every day during the day. <laughs> we hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I enjoy Thank visiting you. Cape Cod. Thank a little you, chilly, sir. but I got in that chimney. The rug is excellent, that rug you got. It's yes, a lovely right. rug. Do you know what bothers me? That's his own wardrobe. <laughs> Goodson, may I have the camera? Yes. I, on behalf of Goodson and Todman and the star of the new match game, a lovely young boy named Gene Rayburn, <laughs> on behalf of this wonderfully talented panel, we would like to thank the audience on behalf of our bosses, Goodson and Todman, for making the new match game the most popular show in the daytime. That's why Santa's here. <laughs> oh, one more. Just a moment. Listen, How may I ask a question? There's is, talk of a spin-off. There's talk, there's of, a talk spin -off. of a spin off for my own series out of this appearance. <laughs> yeah. But I just want to say <laughs> I want to thank the Columbia Broadcasting System experts of makeup and okay. costume for their the brilliant contribution. Okay. Happy New Year, gang. Thank you. We've Merry gone Christmas. out of that game. It does look real, doesn't yeah, it? Yes, it does. Thank you, Charles. You've warmed okay, the cockles of our game. hearts. Okay. I thank you all. Uh, very well done. Man. Okay. Charles Nelson Riley. We can trim that. Happy New Year.
I've never heard of Santa Claus who sounded like the Kentucky Colonel, but that's, uh, you know, they come in all sizes and shapes. We'll How's Peggy Caseberg, our current champion? I'm nervous. You are nervous? We'll she's won one game. She's only got $100 to her credit, but she's going to have a go at over $5,000 in a moment or so. And we'll do that right after we pass along this message. You know. Okay, here we go with Peggy Caseberg, who's uh, won the game and is now going to have a go at the big money super match here. All set, Peggy? Yes. <laughs> All right. Now, you know that we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Common blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you can match it. Second most frequent response, $250. Third, $100. Which uh, three celebrities would you like to get a little help from? I'll go with Jack. What do you say, Jack? How do you fill in that blank? Common? Just common sense. Common Jeez. sense is Jack's answer. Ms. Lockhart. June? <coughs> Common law. Common law is a well-known phrase in the English language. And I'll go with Brett. Oh. Brett. Co let me see. Common, uh, common law, common sense, common as pig tracks. What was that, Brett? <laughs> common as pig tracks. Common as pig tracks. Is Wasn't that a saying in your three? immediate family? <laughs> it could have been worse. I to say common Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> Common law, common you sense, and that real winner, tracks. common as pig tracks. Which one would you like to choose? Common. Or one of your own, if you want. I'll go with common sense. Common sense is the answer. That shows better go right. common sense. That's Jack's answer. Let's see if it's up there. It may or may not be. We're going to find out right now. May we see the $100 response? Common as pig Common tracks. law. No, not yet. That's June's answer. Common law. That's the 250. Looking common for law. common sense. It usually is Here $100. is the $250 response. Common law. Common cold oh, is a very good answer. Very good. That audience was on the ball. Here it comes. Common as pig tracks. <laughs> Any side bets on that? Common yes. sense is what we're looking for. Three cents, I'll bet. Here is the $500 response. Common oh. sense. Okay, you've done it. You've won the $500 now. And Peggy, that means you're going to be playing for 10 times that amount or $5,000. Now to collect, got to match one of those celebrities on a head-to-head -head basis has to be exact, and it's time to choose one now. I think I'll stay with Jack. Going to stay with Jack Cassidy. I'll All right. try for you. won't like it. Get the ESP out, though, dear. All right. Get ready to write, Jack. Peggy, you face me, and I'll get the $5,000 question. Here we go. First blank. First blank. Jack is finished. And now, Peggy, we need your response. How do you fill in that blank? First? First aid. First aid, she says. Okay. Jack, for $5,000, may we see your answer? No, I'm afraid we need first aid. First base. First base is what he says. Well, they're both good answers. First uh, base, you first aid is a good answer. You should have stuck with common as pig tracks. Uh, <laughs> Listen, you're up to $600, uh, Peggy, and you're going to meet another player right after we pass along this commercial message. Okay, here we go. We're going to start another game, but before we do that, we've got to meet a brand new player. Let's welcome Judy Ross. Hi, Judy. Hi. You know, uh, Peggy... Now, Judy, would you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm happily married to my husband named Doug, and we have a three-year-old son, Brian, and an 18-month-old daughter, Denise. And we're self-employed. We have a clothing store. You make clothing or you sell it? Uh, well, uh, we sell it. Yeah. <laughs> For men and women? Or? Men and women. Yeah. Is that an example of what you sell? That's right. Gee, that's very pretty. Thank you. Well, it's nice to have you with us, Judy. Thank Good you. luck to you and to Peggy. Here we go. I'll push a button and reveal two questions. You, the challenger, Judy, will make a selection. A. A it is. New game, folks. Everybody plays. My favorite. When they got divorced, uh, Mary said, I demand 50% of everything. So Fred sawed the blank in half. <laughs> uh, 
My pen is run out. You look at me askance. <laughs> When they got divorced, Mary said, I demand 50% of everything, so Fred sawed the blank in half. I know it's not a question you people from Hollywood are familiar with dealing with here, but uh, oh, we, don't be too these sure. questions come up once in a while. Everybody ready? A lot ready? of people spit on the cake, too. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, what do you say? The house in half. So Fred sawed the house in half. Okay, that's really carrying community property to its ultimate degree there. Jack Cassidy, what do you say? Now, you know that I'm a carpenter at trade, an amateur, but... That's right. No one... Well, the house, true, but in all truth, you must take the other half of the bed. Yes, take the other half of the bed. Sign the bed in half. In the picture, bundling. Bundling. Brett? You see, you're always sorry, because when I come up with the terrific answers, you have to do it all over like again. the last Greek one you gave. <laughs> I didn't like that implication of, that I didn't know my Bible. The baby. Oh. <laughs> Don't you remember Solomon? Of course we do, Rosemary. Oh, stuff? yes, I see. Solomon. Okay. <laughs> Was it Solomon? Santa, what did you say? Santa said, and look at the acting, how beautiful. <laughs> Santa said that... I'd rather not. The bed, because the bed. if it was the house... Now, wait a moment, people, I'm only here for one day. <laughs> if it was the house, then the chimney would be in trouble, and then, of course, where would Santa go? Yes, Whoa. where? I ask you. Okay. Edmund Gwynn never had that much dialogue. <laughs> house is her answer, and what's yours? Well, he would be out looking for somebody with another half of a bed again oh. after that. Which yeah. seems to be the answer here from our celebrities. Richard, what do you do? Yes, have half bed, will travel. Oh. Half bed, will travel. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think it might be. Loretta Swift, what do you well, say? Well, I don't understand any of this. You don't understand it's Obviously it? the house. House oh, it is. It gives you one match. Okay. That's one for you. And now this for you, Peggy. Everybody now plays again? Right. John said. Perfect person. My wife is studying to be a witch. Now, when she makes soup, she throws a blank in the pot. <laughs> or, to be perfectly grammatically correct, she throws a blank into the pot. Gotcha. You rascal, sir. Gotcha, didn't I, Ira? He's a college graduate, and I never finished high school. How do you like that? Oh, she's studying. <laughs> What's that? John said, here, I'll just let, oh, leave it. Just turn it over to you, Jim. Charles, what about a Judy now? All right. Thank you. Now we're all set. And we call on Peggy. John said, my wife is studying to be a witch. Now, when she makes soup, she throws a blank into the pot. She throws her broom. A broom into the pot. Have you ever had broom soup? Jack, yes, what do you and say? it's very good. Don't knock it until oh. you've tried it. Okay, I won't. Oh. Mr. Cassidy. Whisk you were here, whisk you were here. <laughs> a broom seems like a logical answer. Very and good. I chose There's a broom. A match for you, Peggy. Correct. I may not be a witch, but I never cook without one. A broom. Oh, there's another one. That was a very good Jeez. answer. Me yes, sir. You. Well, Santa. Gene, I maybe have chosen wrong to come on this show, but I don't want to hear any questions about witching. I but I said a spell. If you spell it S A N T A, that's it. I hear a buzzer. <laughs> I'm sick of that buzzer. Okay. <laughs> I'm bored with his dialect. What did you say? I said that she not only stirred it with, but she then shoved wow. her broom into the soup. There it is. Well, that's three for you. you have to get that Richard? I'm sorry to report to the children of America. Sand has been nipping a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and out of my bottle. I only threw a rat into the soup. A rat into the soup there. Okay. Yeah, there's there's one in every right. crowd. You may stir it with a broom, but a rat and a frog and oh, cattails yes. and things like that. I have a like meat that. and all that. Oh, evidently you read a great deal, both of you. Okay, that's the end of round one. Scores three to one in favor of the champ. And now we go to round two. Judy, what do you say here? A or B? B. All right. Now, you match Loretta, so you do not participate, Loretta? Yes, sir. The rest do. Before leaving on vacation, Cleopatra kissed her blank goodbye. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't shake the camera when you're laughing. <laughs> Before leaving on vacation, Cleopatra kissed her blank goodbye. Jack is ready. Okay. 
Ta -da. Ta -da 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 -da. All right, Judy. Before leaving on vacation, Cleopatra kissed her. I better spell it. Don't <laughs> blow it. Asp. A S P. All right. She kissed her asp goodbye, Jack. Right. That's definitely what I would have said. <laughs> You're on stage. Judy, you <laughs> seem like a lovely person up front. <laughs> but, uh, Judy, you have sensible choice. I chose asp. Oh, there it is. Rather difficult choice, I'd say. Okay. Brett, did she say goodbye to her snake? So did I. So yes. did she. Ask it in. All right. So the score at this moment is three to three. Charles. And naturally, Santa can't pick well, an Santa, answer like that. Question. So I said, why don't you get a sleigh? But she insisted on a barge. On a barge. Okay, Santa says a barge. Okay. Now, June, what do you say? Well, since she could reach it, and that's what did her in, it was an ass. Oh. Okay. I've never heard such perfect diction in my entire life. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> That's because our careers depend upon it. <laughs> and the word is asked puff. <laughs> All right. Now, Judy, you've scored very well with that. You're up to five. And Peggy, we'll get to your half of the round. But first, we've got to pause and uh, was, uh... All right, here we go. Five to three is the score in favor of Judy Ross, our challenger. We finished her half of round two. And now as we go to the end of this second and final round, I point yes. out to Peggy, you must match two to stay in the game. Three will win it. Last time out, you matched June, Jack, and Brett. The three of you will not participate. Santa and uh, Richard and Loretta will. Little Tommy cried, That's not Santa Claus. His blank is too small. <laughs> Little Tommy cried, that's not Santa Claus. His blank is too small. That seems like a good lead-in to talk about Santa. Yes, that's true. <laughs> All right. We're waiting for... Okay. Already over there. Now let's get a response from Peggy. That's not Santa Claus. His blank is too small. His stomach. His stomach is too small. Ho, ho, ho! And appropriately enough, we begin with Santa's Well, response. first of all, I want to thank everyone for the plug, because I'm going to be dead for 364 days. You are. And I want to say one thing to Dickie Dawson. Next Christmas, he's not going to get anything from Santa. And I want to tell that girl that she chose right, because stomach is the right word, and then they'll come out. Okay, there's one for you. Five, four, one more to stay in the game. Richard. I'm afraid Santa's getting to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I did say tummy. Tummy and stomach, that ties the score. One more stomach wins the yes, game. Let's go to Loretta. His stomach was big and his suit was too small. His suit was too small. Oh, oh. So this ends up in a tie. Uh, so now we got to go to a tiebreaker. Uh, we'll wipe this slate job. clean here. Push the button. Reveal the tiebreaker. One question. The, the one who scores the most will be the winner. Judy, do you want A or B? I'll take B again. She wants B. Here it is. Everybody plays. Quickly. Bill loves to have his blank rubbed. <laughs> Bill. He loves to have his blank rubbed. Well. I'll be seeing you in All right, upper tier is ready. Here we go. Okay, Judy, Bill loves to have his... Back. Back rubbed. Audience likes that answer. Do you like to have your back rubbed, Jack? Off and on. Okay. <laughs> but at getting on with the game, I'll shoot for back. All right. So there's one for you, Judy. Brett? Well, it's like your back, except it's in the front. Your tum tum. Your tum tum. Mm. I the told front. you not to do that. <laughs> Soothing. <laughs> they did it again. Santa, what? No, I you... don't think you're going to get any presents either, little tum tum <laughs> girl. I said back too. Of back course. There's another match. So. <laughs> All right, June. What do you say? A vast back aft. Back. Okay. Upper and lower. Richard, not wanting the uh, colonel to be cross, I said back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yes. What do you say? Oh, I don't mean to be different, but his back was scratched and his neck was rubbed. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, so right. you did four oh, with that, which is pretty good. And now let's see how you do hit. with this. This is for Peggy. 
and everyone plays. Okay. Listen carefully. Everyone. Jane, if you say so. The Mexican restaurant had this sign in the window. Ah! Come on in. There's no blank shortage here. <laughs> the Mexican restaurant had this sign in the window. Come on in. There's no blank shortage here. I don't believe what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either, but I'll take it. I'll say it for you in case you don't what understand. It? No, 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 no. no. You'll say well, it. when my turn comes. Okay, all right. A wig falling off. Any chance of Santa striking his outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Bored with it. Bored. Okay. Okay, now we're all set. As soon as June finishes there. June is very finished. All right. <laughs> Peggy, the Mexican restaurant, the sign of the window. Come on in. There's no blank shortage here. Meat shortage. Meat shortage is what she said. Okay. Meat, Meat is her answer. Sorry. Well, I said food. No food shortage. <laughs> All right, Brett. You're going to love my answer. I'm going to love your answer, folks. Well, maybe you won't be too this. crazy about it. <laughs> Kale pectate. <laughs> Kale pectate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you must match everyone else to stay in the game. I just would like to say, if everyone grows slaves, they'd make it much easier for the gas, shorty. <laughs> so, Judy Ross is the winner. Congratulations, and come on down. Congratulations, Judy. All right, Peggy, we've got uh, $600 for you, together with our thanks for being with us on Match Game 73. Peggy Kester. Merry Christmas, Peggy. Got a pause for this message. Here it is. We've run out of time, and I hope you'll be able to join us next time. And I hope everybody here, in person and uh, watching us, will watch uh, June Lockhart on New Year's Day on CBS on the uh, Tournament of Roses parade. Yes, I'll You're be, be gonna calling be it again with Bob again. Barker. Be yeah. out there bright and early in the morning describing the floats and the marching oh, bands welcome. for everybody. Thank you all. Merry Christmas to all you lovely people. Are you going to ask now, me? next week, we'll have this galaxy of stars. Bert Convey. Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Lee Merriweather, Richard Dawson, and Gail Fisher. Ho, 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 Team Redman for Match Game 73. Bye. Today's consolation prizes are a Ronson 1000 XL electric shaver, the original flex head shaver with quick change stainless steel replacement cutter kit from Ronson. And dark eyes, the once a month eyelash and eyebrow makeup that won't run, smear, wash off, cream off, or even cry off. And a supply of delicious fill and eat ready crust. Your dessert will seem like it came from the pastry chef. Ready crust, a special treat. And Tootsie Pop Drops, five flavors of delicious hard candy with chewy Tootsie Roll centers. They fill the hole with Tootsie Roll. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 73. A Mark Goodson, Bill Totman production.